So summarizing our study results, we could say the following. There is a significant relationship between gender and aggressive driving behavior. And then next we have our chi-square, and we have a 1 reported, and the 1 corresponds to the degrees of freedom. And then next in parentheses, using APA format, we put the N, the sample size. And notice that there were 200 people total in this table, as was noted earlier when we were looking at our data in the data view window. And our chi-square test is equal to 7.79, rounding to two decimal places, which you can see reported here under value for Pearson chi-square. And finally, our p-value was equal to 0 0.005, and we saw that reported under the asymptotic significance column. While we said that there was a significant relationship between gender and aggressive driving behavior, we could add the following sentence to provide more detail about the nature of the relationship. And that's what we did here. We said that men were more likely to engage in aggressive driving behavior than were women. And then notice in the parentheses, we provided the percentages as well, which you saw on the table here, 25% and 10% respectively. Now that's optional whether or not you provide these percentages, but it does provide more information to the reader. And as always, you could report, since we used alpha of 0 0.05 here, p is less than 0 0.05, instead of reporting the exact p-value, if desired. Next, we'll briefly discuss the effect size for the chi-square test of independence. And the effect size is given by Kramer's phi, and that applies to tables where at least one variable had only two categories. So for example, the, a 2 by 2 table, that's how that's read there, 2x2 is read as 2 by 2. So this is a 2 by 2 table as we have two categories to gender and two categories to aggressive driving. 2 by 3 table would have two categories here and three categories here, and so on. As long as one of your two variables has two categories, then these effect size standards I'm going to describe next would apply. So the effect size standards for Kramer's phi are small as 0 0.10, medium as 0 0.30, and large as 0 0.50. And these effect size standards were provided by Jacob Cohen, the same person who provided Cohen's D, which we described when we talked about the three T tests. So a small is 0 0.10, a medium is 0 0.30, and a large is 0 0.50. And where we find these effect size standards are if we go down to our last table, notice under the symmetric measures table, we have nominal by nominal, and these two are going to be the same thing. We can use either one, whereas our effect size is 0.197. So if we round that to two decimal places, that will give us 0.2 or 0 0.20, which is what we have reported right here. So Kramer's phi of 0 0.20, notice that doesn't reach the 0 0.30 medium category, so that indicates that it is in fact small, where the small range is from 0 0.10 all the way until it bumps against this category. So 0 0.10 to 0 0.29. So 0.20 falls within that small range, so we would say we have a small effect size in this study. This concludes the presentation on the chi-square test of independence in SPSS. Thanks for watching.